Welcome, welcome, welcome to Love 518. My name's Hadassa, and today we're doing another detangling video. This beautiful client hasn't combed her hair in three years. Stay tuned for the transformation. So before we jump into this video, I'd like to make a quick announcement. So your girl was published in the Washington Post. Yes, that happened. I am so happy and grateful that I was able to share a little bit about me and how this whole process started. And if you want to read the full story, click on the link in my description area and enjoy the rest of the video. For an active addiction and that sent us an act like full-blown active addiction. I didn't want to get out of bed, it got worse, and we have a son, and my focus was on him, and him only, and I just like let myself kind of stay in the dark. <laughs> but then we both got into a program, got clean, so. Oh, I'm so proud of you. <laughs> and you guys, not just you, him too, because sometimes one person wanna get help, but the other person doesn't. So the fact that you both want to get help yeah. and will, and actually take the steps on your sobriety and your mental health and your physical health and now you're you're doing this it's, yeah. that's a big accomplishment <clears throat> i'm truly proud of you guys i appreciate it because we don't hear it a lot so <laughs> so as you can hear just a small little taste of what she's been going through and what she has accomplished so far and just a little testament of everyone is going through something and it's how you deal with things and i am so proud of her um for just making the step of not only changing her life but coming in to seek help and be free of this big ball of hair that you see back there so this is the end of day one and you see what we got accomplished so far so now i'm just gonna let you guys sit back watch the video and listen to her testimony and answer some of the questions that you guys ask all the time I was the only person in the world this happened. That's why I figured, that's why I couldn't find anyone to help me because I'm the only person that, you know, this is going on to, so there's probably no one out there that can help me with this. But I was refused to give up finding someone. And for some reason, I just, because YouTube is so big in our house with between my son and my husband, I was like, well, let me just type into YouTube how to tangle matted hair. And you, your video came up. Hey. And I was like, and then I remember thinking, oh my God. But then I remember after that, before I like even remotely clicked on it, I said, she probably lives in Alaska. Why am I even gonna bother? <laughs> Alaska. Although, although I would travel there to, to go. But, and then I clicked on it and I saw you were, you know, in Florida. I was like, oh my God. I said, all right, game over. Like I've already lived this pain for, three years almost, I'm done. Here, people all the time are like, oh, the, you must not brushed your hair. Like, I can attest, I, I brushed my hair every day, even when it was like this, to make sure that the hair that was not tangled was not gonna get in there too. With my in-laws, you were staying in a hotel. Um, and I remember feeling that like when I was brushing my hair, it wasn't, you know, the knots were not coming out. because. Like I said, my hair never really tangled. If it did, you know, when I was brushing it, like after the shower or something like that, it always, it came there out. was a problem there. You know, you just brush a few times and it would come out. But then I felt back and I felt like a round bump. And I was like, oh, there's something in my hair. I thought it was gum, to be honest. You know, I was like, what did I sleep in? Did my son leave something on the pillow? And I asked my husband to check and he said, oh, you know, you just got a, yeah, like a little rat's nest is what he called it. So I spent, kid you not, probably three or four hours. I got, I looked online on how to detangle a uh, huge tangle in a hair. Like that was like more than just a few brushes type of tangle. Yeah. I don't know, for some reason, it told me to use apple cider vinegar. So I went, bought some, sprayed it on, spent three to four hours trying to do exactly what you're doing. My arm burned, hurt, I wanted to, to cry and die, but it literally was almost gone. I rinsed it in the shower, you know, because I shampooed and stuff to get the apple cider stuff off. Uh, I went to bed, and then the next day, it was still there. 
and I tried to get it out, and it just wasn't budging, but I was like, it's small enough, you know, I'll just get it out the next day. That next day turned into almost three years, because I had other things in life going on. Yeah. So, I mean, people, like, you know, when we're talking, like, and people say, how could you let this happen? Like, I had a son to raise. Yeah. You know, I couldn't just tell my son, hold on, mommy needs eight, nine million hours. <laughs> yes. I, I don't yes. know how long this is going to take. This and it's uncomfortable hair. to do in that position too. You're doing your uh-huh. own head to hold your arms up for that long. So you give up. Yeah. Like, you're like, oh, and then when you're also fighting, you're already the depression and yes. anxiety that I was fighting. Plus yes. I was in active addiction. When you're in active addiction, you know, I mean, at the time, you know, when I say it was an active addiction, I was still a functioning mother, though. Yes. I My son has always come first with my husband and I. Always. But still, at the end of the day, we were both self, addicts. Yeah, you're self-coping. And, and you're grieving. You know, yeah. Like, a lot changed overnight. You went from... Like I said, you should just be so proud of yourself, man, because it's not easy. Like, it's easy for people to throw rocks and throw stones, but, man... Like, I tell people, you're life and your situation manifested through this part of your hair there's other people that their stuff is manifesting through overeating or not or under eating drinking out here in these streets just doing whatever you know gambling or depression or being stuck in the house like their things show up other ways yours just show up this way i would like to say something about that because i see that all the time when i was watching your videos about the whole just cut it off you know don't like well, unfortunately, when I was actually in the stage of maybe I'll just get a pixie cut, I was told that that wasn't actually couldn't happen. All the hairdressers that I went to said, oh, we can't even do a pixie cut for you. We have to shave you bald. So I wasn't even afforded that option then. I didn't know I could. So, but then it got to the point where I had put so much into my recovery and this was a big part of like that life and I would be, I'm going to be damned if like, my addiction that I fought so hard to get over everything that's just going to take something else from me. You know, like, no, I want to fight for one of them. Well, not just that, but some people don't realize that just because you cut that off, it doesn't mean you have, I didn't deal with it, you know? Yeah. Like, I faced it head on. And guess what? If I'm doing it this way, I get to keep something that I wanted to keep. Yeah. Not because I had to get rid of it. Oh. In order, you know, to Oh, flourish. I'm happy you said that. I am so happy you said that. Because a lot of times people just don't get it. So I'm happy they heard it from your mouth. <laughs> My husband said, he's like, I'm going to tell them to cut their hair off. Like, <laughs> they don't know what someone's going through. Yeah, they don't. People always assume. How do people pass judgment on those people when, like, they could be someone who is fighting, like, cancer. Mm-hmm. Or who's someone who's bedridden, yeah. you know? Because when you're bedridden, and it's not just some depression, it can be for any reason. And yes, it can sometimes be from depression and anxiety. Like, people who don't suffer from anxiety and depression may not know, but it can make you yeah. knock it out of bed. Yeah. And so when you're bedridden and you can't even physically get up, you obviously can't take care of yourself. It's crazy to me that people can be, like, I had to deal with, I'm sure a lot of people who are in this situation deal with a lot of mean and hurtful yeah. things and assumptions. Like, believe me, I didn't go to bed saying, oh, I wish in the morning my hair would be matted <laughs> and it would weigh 10 million pounds is what it feels like. For and real. it hurts. And I just can't wait for that to happen in the morning. It is. Yeah. That's why I tell people, if you're coming to see me, that means you're ready for change. If something is getting ready to change your life or it's changing now and that you just could no longer carry this with you anymore. Baby, you don't know what you do to me. Between me and you, I feel like chemistry. I won't let no one come and take your place. Cause the love you give, you can't be replaced. So come on now.
almost done. So I finally figured out how her hair worked. Three days later, so I found a trick to her hair. And you won't believe it, guys. So this is what's left to do. Look what's left to do. So I got completed so far. Now I'm gonna blow your mind. Look what is attached to, guys. Literally attached to this much hair. <laughs> so all this is just a hair ball of old matted hair. Like over a hundred thousand strands of hair that's in that bag and that's attached to her head. She has no ball spots here. Even her texture, hair is a different texture now because it's been matted for so long. Her hair is very fine. So I found a trick to what was going on. So now, versus spending hours detangling this, um, I am finding another way to get to it. So I am almost done. Ready, set. Jump it up, jump it up, go. I can't only keep holding my. Like, <laughs> hey, Todd is going in the garbage. <laughs> Him and his cousins gotta go. <laughs> Him and his family gotta go. Oh my God. Look at this. Oh. Oh. Look at this. All this hair that was trapped in there, plus Todd. Yes. Do you feel different now? I, I feel your neck. like my old self. Oh my goodness. Go ahead, Craig. Go get your tissue, girl. Let it out. You're holding it too long. This is heavy, y'all. In here. All this hair. And we gotta name, name this one. What's the name of this one? What's this one? Oh, we got another one? Okay. Yeah. Uh, Todd and Tom. Todd and Tom. Todd and Tom. All this hair. And it's still a little bit stuck in the bag. This is a lot of hair to be carrying for three years. It is finally, oh God, we're finally done. Thank you, Jesus. We are done. So I'm gonna do some keratin. Her hair texture is a whole nother texture now. I um, don't understand how good it feels. Like, you gonna sleep like a baby tonight. You can actually sleep in the back of your head now. I know. Girl, look at like, that. I, I, I haven't been able to sleep. Like, oh. Because I can't, I don't know. Look, girl, don't cry. It's okay, <laughs> get your tissue, girl. It's okay, you are free. I'm so happy I was able to set you free, girl. Look at this. This is why I do it, to set people free. Not physically, but just also <laughs> mentally, spiritually. Like, look at this. And she not bald. This is why she had to cut it off, because I saved it. Yep, I could have been bald headed. You could have been bald. All shaved. the people that said shave your head, and I would have had to live with a shaved head for God knows how long. Can I explain it? Yeah.